Hi guys, so today's video is, um, do I really want to call it a haul? I don't think anyone's thought of a, of, of a better name. I was trying to think of a better name and I was thinking like acquisitions or something, but then who the hell's going to look that up, right? No one's going to type into YouTube acquisitions. So, okay, so this is a haul and um, it's not really a big one because as I've um, said time and time again, I don't do, you know, humongosaurus hauls anymore. I mean, I certainly used to do that in the past, but now I'm kind of trying to um, enact some sort of self-discipline here. So, and it was over um, some time, and one of the major things that um, that I really, really wanted took four ever. Um, I had to order from the UK and usually, like with the Alice Voss, it came so quickly. Um, but for some reason, this package took seven weeks, maybe? I mean, just an insanely long time. So I was starting to get quite um, bummed about the whole thing. And then it finally arrived. So yay. Um, what, shall I start with it? No, no, no. Okay. Um, so the reason why I got this stuff um, is because of Pixie Woo. Sam from Pixie Woo, she'd done a tutorial and um, of course I needed the products that she used because um, did I have stuff that was similar? Probably, but I was like, no, 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 I just need those products. So, um, and they were really relatively um, inexpensive. Um, so it's the Gemma Kid. Um, now we used to have Gemma Kid in Holt Renfrew quite a few years ago. I did pick up um, a couple of her liners, I remember, her little compact mirror, a few things, and then they just took it out um, quite quickly, and I haven't found it in Canada um, ever since, so I, I had to go to the UK. Um, well, not go to the, well, you know what I mean, I don't even have to explain that, but this is the first one, and it's the Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream. Now, I know that I had seen um, Sam and Nick both perhaps use this, and then um, Pixie Two Woo, Pixie Two Woo um, has been loving it, and it's a um, cream highlighter, and um, you know, do I have to go on and on about how much I love creams and liquids? Um, I love them, and especially for the warmer weather, I thought I would do a highlighter because I've got the Laura Mercy, I've got a lot of loose powder ones, I just picked up a different one, um, but I really wanted something that was a cream because it's so easy to just sort of do that with, so... There's that, and this one is in Ice Gold. I haven't tried that yet because I actually wore this other one today because I just got this stuff yesterday. Um, and that's the Christian Dior highlighter that um, I think Elaine first asked if I'd used the Dior one when I was mentioning my Laura Mercier one that I love, 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 love. And she said, hey, you know, have you tried this one? It's really, really good. And um, I'd just gotten that one, so I didn't need another powder. Um, and then I saw, uh, maybe it was Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite, not sure, um, but I saw her, um, video and she also had this and then of course again Pixie 2 Woo, um, has been using this like crazy, so, um, and I had a GC so I thought I might as well use it for this and it's, um, Amber Glow and it's actually really, really nice. I'm using it today and, um, when I was in Sephora, I actually swatched this and my Laura Mercier just to make sure that they weren't identical because what's the point of buying products that are identical? And, um, I found the Laura Mercier had a little bit more of a sort of, um, like a peachy undertone and also a rosy undertone because she's got quite a few different colors. Um, and this was almost like a straight gold. So they were, you know, a little different anyway. So I could justify getting this. And again, it was a GC. So I got that. Um, and then, oh, let's go back to Gemma Kid. So the look that I wanted to do, which I'm going to be doing in the future, um, she, Sam, was using... Um, this product here, which is the Crushed Jewel Cream Duo in Black Diamond. Oh, I think I had that nail polish that was Black Diamond too. Um, and it's a cream with a powder underneath here. And I haven't used it yet, so um, I'm really, really, really excited to use this. Um, I actually went online, and I do a lot of research on Makeup Alley and sites like that before I decide to actually purchase, especially things online. I want to sort of get other people's opinions, and everyone seemed to love these little um, 
um, crushed jewel duo. So really, really excited about that. And then I remember Sam using this, um, this thing here. And it's sort of like a, hmm, it's not a lipstick, but it's the ultimate lip care. And the reason why is why is because it says apricot. So if it says apricot or peach, I have to go get it. And um, so I was putting in my order, I saw this, and it was really quite inexpensive. They're all on sale right now. And, um, you know, very apricot-y. But the odd thing is, is that when I put it on my lips, it goes fuchsia. It's so weird. What if I swatched it like this? Yeah. You know, it's quite pinky or apricot -y here, but if I put it on my lips, I swear to God, it's like neon fuchsia. So I don't know what the heck's going on. Maybe I'll have to try it with, well, you know, I don't really want a primer. Anyways, um, it's really a lip treatment, so it, it, it's totally fine. So I've got that, and then, um, and then I also got these two more as gifts, um, so I'm not going to swatch them. And... Uh, it is the High Shine Silk Touch Lip Gloss, and it's in Tea Rose, and um, then they just gave me this one, and it's a pink one. It's called Blossom, so I might be giving those as gifts. Um, and, uh, whoa, oh, I better hurry up. And then, of course, my Ellis Foss also came in, and um, these are the two creamy eyes, and I got it in one oh. 3 and 107. I'm wearing 107 right now, and I've also got the Dior highlighter on, and um, I love them. I mean, what can I say? It's tough to swatch because I'd have to twist it, and it takes a bit for the product to come out, um, and I always wipe them completely clean, and, you know, with alcohol, all that stuff, my whole analness, um, and this one, I haven't even used it. It takes a bit of twisting, twisting, twisting until it finally does come out, so um, love, love, love those. Okay, so I've got that, that, um, did this, okay, and um, I got two MAC products, and one of them is the new grease sticks, or grease paint sticks in Below Ground, I think Elaine just got this, and it's that color there, and I love it, I love the color of it, they're a little bit more difficult to work with because they're so sticky and greasy, they're really, really waxy, so it's pretty tough to move it around, um, especially because I've been using Ellis Foss for, you know, every day for almost a month now so they're these are a bit different well they're quite different but I actually really love the color um, that it gives so it's like an olivey goldy brownie green sort of thing totally up my alley and um, and then this which a lot of people have been um, commenting on one of my last videos I can't remember which one it is and why can't it oh, come out of the box and it's this um, it's Indian blue. I was wearing that on my nails in one of the videos, and it's in this collection. I don't know about collections because I'm not a MAC um, fanatic, but it looks like this. London? Liberty of London or something? Um, and there's the color there. So there's that. Um, and then when I was at Sephora, I picked up one of these for the bonus. Um, it's a Ole, um, or it's Ole. Um, Henriksen, and I've used his products before, um, and they were okay, but I thought, you know, I might as well try this out. Um, and then, this sucker, this is why I had to order from the UK, which is for this, the conical wand. Now, I'd seen Laura, um, Lollipop26, talk about these wands last year sometime, and, um, you know, I love that whole, like, beachy kind of, really no fuss kind of look, and Lisa did a great demo, um, Lisa Lisa, D1, um, did a great, great demo of it, and, um, and I was looking up conical wands, and I couldn't find them anywhere in North America. The only place I found them were sites um, in the UK, and so I had to order uh, from there. It was, you know, pretty reasonable, and I have yet to try it, but it's got the little built-in um, gripper. I don't know, does it have a picture? Yeah, this little gripper thing here, so that, you know, you're not holding on to the hot iron. Um, and uh, I haven't used it, but I'm excited to do it, although, you know, I have a feeling it's going to be a heck of a lot of work, so... <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to that, but hopefully um, I'll like the results and it'll be worth it enough for me to um, to do the work. So um, I'm going to try and do more in-depth reviews on a lot of these products. Some of them I won't even bother, but um, I will try and do that. And um, thanks so much for watching, as usual.